so. A griffin this close to the village. Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest to the mountains, sure, but here? And near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn anything. Who knows what the morrow oh. will bring? What? Take that down before there's trouble. That is a coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. Witches. I'll not drink with Weaver Law's freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm-hmm. Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Show me what you got behind the counter. Looking for a woman, raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travellers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. for everything. Master Witches, would you be of a mind to kill the griffin? Beasts are scourge on our land. Only killed livestock at first, but it's got a taste for human flesh of late. We're afraid to set foot outdoors. If someone will pay us, won't say no. you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Fields. Let him measure. Better that than burning the harvest.
I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Waste of words. Don't have time for your kind. Smart. Nor do we have time for yours. Once more, there are four factions. What a waste of time. The Earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, Assistant Professor in Contemporary History at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher, with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Take my advice. Go back to your books while you can. War's no game. No faculty meetings to attend. No tenure to gain. End notes to compile. First soldier you seal kill you. Why would he do that? Me? A neutral civilian? A scholar? Boots. Come again? He'll kill you for your boots. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Uh -huh. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. No thanks. Got some other things on my mind. Shame. I'd ask the locals, but since they can't count to ten, the rules are a complete mystery. Ah, well, I'm here if you change your mind. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Finding her. That'll lift my spirits. You look haggard. It's just a few drops to improve your mood. A little schnapsies never hurt a soul. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. 
and runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself, the Butcher of Blaviken. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask, is this about love? Guessed it. It's love. I knew it at once. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. And the Ulfgardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <sighs> Don't want your kind here. I haven't done anything to you, so just calm down. Of course not. I, uh, you've done nothing. Horses work in witchcraft. Get him! of power.
Go, go. Show me what you got. and women. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sagwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. You black ones aren't so scary after all. Can even be nice if you want to. Don't get accustomed, Nordling. To the tower. Go. Goltais Griffin is anvil. Eptor? Nein. Epstredar. We must requisition the share of your harvest. No, there is little left in your granaries. But soldiers are men too, and so they must eat, correct? How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the elderman and the smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it, and then I shall see what I can do. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? 
It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm-hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Need more information about this griffin. It's sex. Why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. Tamira and Mislav. Thanks. Es sun diakten. Es vairish. Ekelein ted atagen. Et Avon. Move it. Anyone home? Must be out hunting. Trails fresh. Ms. Love just left home. Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes. More dangerous than wolves. I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilf Guardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Mm hmm. Show you, sure, but uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Sure, Griffin's not going anywhere. No, dogs might though. So step careful now. Come on. These dogs been a problem for a while now. Since the war started, soldier on the march, he'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. A 
the dog are kicking passing no more. So these stray mutts form packs. They're gaunt, guts stuck to their spines, covered in too late. Attacked another one. Dieter. You know him? We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's Hunter. But that was before... Well, a long time ago. Sorry. Hope you weren't close. No. Not at all. So... Can you show me where you found the Nilfgaardians? Griffin, know anything about it? Not much. It's not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No Griffin can hear me nor spy me. Greetings. was here. One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts, blades, stretching down to... Watch out for yourself now. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last, either. Hope you're right. Good hunting now. Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. Grounds black, saturated with blood. A camp. are older and deeper, heavily armored. Elf guardians, probably. nest. What remains of it at least. Corpse is a couple of weeks old. 
Still alive when the griffin brought him here. Took a long time dying. Bones. Horse. Dog. Human. A few months worth. Female. Larvae and her wounds have already hatched. Been dead at least a week. Other griffin must be a male. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Thick shaft, dense barbs. A royal griffin. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilfgaardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. Do this. <laughs> 